Okay guys, it is time. I am going to show you how I use Notion. I love this app. I've been using it so much. I only found out about Notion recently on a TikTok actually. I saw some girls who were in university using it to study and oh my gosh, if I would have had this in university, I might not have dropped out. Just kidding, I dropped out to pursue streaming full time. I'm actually very proud of that. But I might have gotten 100% grades because this program is everything that my wide, excitable mind needs in terms of creating structure. If I haven't told you guys, like I do have, <laughs> I do have, ADHD tendencies, I've got a little bit of manic depressive tendencies, and this is what allows me to be a functioning human being in the society that we've currently created and are living in. Okay, but that's always changing, baby. So this is my board, Kristen Expands 2022. I'm really trying to get away from the word evolving and just step into expanding because evolving in my mind implies becoming something that I'm not already. And I was really inspired by the quote from Dune. I must not fear, fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it is gone, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. And I just love this because I've been really playing with the idea of fear and the way it feels in my body and my mind and then asking myself what kind of meditation techniques I can do to just release that fear and to remind myself that I am just so protected and so well served and on the divine path. I move through that fear and then I'm just infinitely rewarded every single time. So it's just a good reminder. And my theme words for this year are inclusion, participation and prosperity. I want to build and create communities where people feel included. I think there's this, this element of like aloneness and separateness that's been created over the past couple of years. And I just wanna give people a place where they can feel included and they can feel that they're gonna participate and receive prosperity. And the same goes for me. I wanna be in places with people that I feel included, that I can participate and my ideas and words are heard and that I can generate prosperity. And I, I think of prosperity and prospering like beyond abundance where it just affects every single part of my life from mental health, physical health, uh, abundance, lifestyle, the way, the way I live, where I live, what I wear, the people that I speak with, the types of conversations I have just like seeped in prosperity. So yes. So I've organized things into different areas and I will include templates to this so you can change and manipulate it in the way that you want. That's the coolest thing about Notion is you get it to work for you. And this is not a Notion ad, although it should be. It is a free program to use, as long as you're not using uh, too many team members, I think it's over five, or uploading too big of content. Let's get into the week of the 24th. So I put the date and then the theme. So I like to have a theme for each week. The theme for this week is going to be focus, action, and fun. Those are just words that I want to kind of embody throughout the week, the qualities that I want to express and the things that I need to focus on and make sure that I'm reminded by. And I just like setting that tone where it's like, what do I need to embody this week to have a fun, graceful, easy, successful week? And so focus is really important for me. Action is really important for me. And then having fun is the most important. So the week top three embodies the three things, the three aspects of my work or activity or things that I need to get done. So first one is car. Um, it's a service, a panel replacement and clean. I'm just trying to get my car to a place where it's in good condition and then I actually plan on selling it. I love it so much. I have an Audi RS7. If anyone wants to buy it, uh, let me know. We can talk. It's my freaking like dream car. I used to have the car actually as a, an alert on my Twitch stream where 
of the Audi R7 would drive into the frame and it would show the name of the person that donated on it and then it would back up out of the frame. And my mom reminded me of that the other day because I've had this car now for three and a half years. There was a moment in time where it was just my absolute dream car and I got it. And I've had it for a while. And I just think it's like so interesting to reflect and see that I was like manifesting before I even like realized like how much so. So the next thing that is important for me this week are my animals. Uh, Yuri needs to go for a groom. Uh, Pita and Yuri to the vet. Yuri needs to get her rabies re-upped and a checkup. Pita is getting his blood work done because of his FIP. And then we're also scheduling him this week to get his balls snipped. So, oops. Sorry, Pita. <laughs> the next big top three for me this week is my podcast. So, I don't know if you've learned yet from watching my live stream or watching my YouTube videos, or maybe you're new here. I love to talk about topics that are interesting to me with people that are also interested in it. It is my bliss. It is. I feel literal ecstasy <laughs> when I find people who enjoy the same things as me and we get to talk about it and elevate each other. So I'm going to be working on my podcast this week and I'm going to try and launch it for February. And uh, so before I go to Egypt, so then while I'm in, in Egypt, I can record more episodes and I have some really cool friends that I want to interview. So <sighs> I'm excited for that. So now that we have our week top three, we can dive into the days. So as you saw on my calendar video, uh, every day has a different topic. So brainstorm, record, post, RE finance. Um, so my videos now come out on Wednesdays and Fridays. So click this little plus button and you can add a to-do list right like that. So, and there's a bunch of different things that you can see and use in here. The three things that I have to do today is I have to, I have a meeting with Chris, uh, record podcast with Riley and then the vet appointment. So if I do those three things, I'm good, I'm clear. So bonus to do's, I have some laundry to do. Um, and another bonus to do would be donate clothes um, to the women's shelter, which I'm doing. I have a bunch of clothes that I'm giving away and so that's exciting. So then I like to go through and fill out the week as best as I can and then add to it throughout the day. And then when you're done things, you can just cross them out and you're good to go. Moving on to the weekend, I like to set weekend priorities. Um, so a weekend priority might be relax, don't do anything, depending on how my week goes, but this can be different for you guys. For astounding, outstanding tasks, um, this goes for any of the tasks. Like if I go up here and if there's anything here that I didn't get done, like donating clothes, you can click and you can move it uh, to one of these. And then I just copy the outstanding tasks into the next week when I duplicate it. So then I have this fun little habit tracker here. These are all the habits that I track throughout the week. Fitness, breath work, meditation, journal, read, affirmations, write, learn, supplements, and love letter. I've been writing a daily love letter and just closing my eyes and the first person that comes into my head, I write a love letter to them. And then I email it to the <laughs> people in my family and my friends have been like very much surprised by that, but it's been a great practice just to step into the state of love and appreciation of someone. And then I've got a bunch of weekly reflections. So what am I looking forward to this weekend? What went well? What were my challenges? What did I learn? What am I grateful for, etc. Doing this again, is just good to like refocus and reflect and then get ready for the week in advance. So that's everything that I have for my weeks. And what you do is I created a, a weekly template um, and then what you do is you just duplicate it, the template that doesn't have anything on it, and then you can fill it out again um, and add it here. And then once I'm done with the week, it just gets pulled into archive like that. Okay, now we've stepped into my to-do. So in my to-do, I've got a bunch of different things that I'm working on right now. Um, I mess with a lot of different ways of like scheduling this. You can schedule it into different topics like I did, travel, finance, health, work, fun, books, and home. Um, you can also schedule it into like to do, doing, and done. But for me, this works best just so I can organize it a little better. And then certain things have a higher priority, uh, like certain topics do. So that works for me. 
Um, so then if you want to add a new one, let's click new and let's say book Egypt flights. So it's a status. I'm gonna, I'm doing it. I gotta do it. And that's a travel <laughs> and a fun. Travel fun tag. When does it do? Before, oh, this is due in Q1. So you can also separate it by quarters. Um, and I don't think I have a column. So, and I don't need to write any information here, but if you need it, you can write add information. And then I can go back to, to the to-do. And then I see that when I look at travel, book Egypt flights. Okay, I'm gonna add an icon just because I like <laughs> pyramid. There's no pyramid in Egypt. Perfect. Then when I see the little icons, they just make me happy. But now you know how to start use them. So now Book Egypt Flight is on there, but I got a bunch of different things that I'm doing right now and different books that I'm reading. So anything that I'm reading or want to read, uh, I'll add in here. Um, so since I bought pita food, I can now go here and I click doing to done. And so when I go back to my to do, um, buying pita food is no longer there. And so this just helps me uh, clear things and it's pretty satisfying either moving it into done or um, just seeing it come off the list. And then yeah, I'm also doing 30 days of writing. So this is uh, not 30 days of writing, but I have been adding more things to my writing. And so you can just add a new thing here and then type whatever you want. And then I write like in that hour long writing block that you see, this is where typically where I like to put it. And then I also have my notes, which is similar to my iPhone notes, goals, reading list, and social media stuff. That's a whole video entirely, so I'm gonna leave it out from here, but separating these different pages for how I plan that. If you guys are interested in me going into depth on any of those, just let me know in the comments and any questions you might have, because the way that I structure my content and the flow of it, I think is actually quite interesting and might be helpful for people who wanna be making content or interested in it because it really shows what eight years of content creation will do to your flow in a good way. So I'd love to share that with you guys. There's also the daily journal. So I really love this. I go through, they're all five, like most of them are five stars because I'm like, why would I at the beginning of my day say that my day was gonna be less than five stars? But I'll just click a new one. And so today is January 25th. 2022 and so then you can go date even though my title is the date so it doesn't really make sense why I would use that one but then I've got my mood so today I feel happy I feel accomplished I feel focused excited and loved wow that's a lot of descriptors for today and today is going great so we're gonna give it five stars and then I write in here write my journal entry and again, I would love to go into more detail about what I do for my journals. And I think that's a video entirely. So if you're interested in seeing that, put a comment down below because then I will know that you guys want to see stuff like that. So that's a little picture into how I've been using Notion. Obviously you can do anything here. Like there are so many templates and different things that you can do. I know a lot of people use this for work now as well. And there's integrations with different programs. So. There's a lot that you can do on Notion. It's really changed the way that I work and the way that I function and allowing, again, structure breeds creativity. At least for me, I'd love to see what your guys' insights on that are and if it works for you too. So yeah. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to come and join my Discord. We have conversations like this and discuss these types of topics as well. So yeah, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love if you could write some stuff down below in terms of what kind of content you want to see from me. I have so much information and knowledge about social media, strategy, biohacking, blockchain DAOs, everything. And I just don't know what is of interest. Like it takes someone asking a question or having a desire to know from me, for me to share. So it really helps me out if you could share that with me. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I just hope that I'm able to remind you of the light in you and your power and your creativity and your beauty because it's all there. You just need the right lens to see it. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.